Hello everybody, my name is Gamecraft and welcome back to a new Minecraft plugin tutorial. Today it's not actually a plugin tutorial, but more likely a server installation guide. And to be specific, a 1.9 server installation guide for both Vanilla and Spigot. Uh, why? Because recently Mojang or Minecraft uh, released the 1.9 combat update. And with that, I'm going to show you how you can generate and set up your own local server for Minecraft 1.9 or Minecraft 1.9 Spigot. So to jump right into it, we are currently looking at the Minecraft wiki page on tutorial on how you can set up your own server. Uh, the page is really long, as you can see at the right side of my screen, you see my scroll bar is really small, which means that this page is really long and contains a lot of text. You don't need all this information, but it is useful if you want to read through it. So you can always do that later because I will link everything that I use here in my description. So don't worry, the links will be there so you can find them back. But I'm not going to run through this because it's way too much text. Some of them are not needed for this tutorial. And I'm only going to explain the steps that are really useful for you to actually get started. So what we first of course need to do is we need to download the Java, the jar files for the Minecraft server. So we go to the official Minecraft website, minecraft.net, and we add slash download to it. So you will come to this download page and we look at the bottom paragraph, which starts with multiplayer server, and then you have a bunch of text. There are two links there. The first link is the link to the page that we were just on. It's in this case setting up a server and that's in this case this website or page of the Minecraft wiki. So you can also find it back there. But the thing that is important here is the second link, Minecraft server jar. And I already downloaded it, but normally you click on it and you get a download like this. I already downloaded it. The version that stands there may be out of date when you're seeing this video because maybe 1.9.1 came out so that will be changed on this website then. So the latest version of Minecraft Vanilla server files or server jar will be displayed here. So let's trip straight into the folder where our jar file is and this is the download. I already pasted it in a folder and the thing that we need to do now is we need to create a bat file, which in this case is the trigger to activate the generation of our Minecraft server files. So to do that, you right click your mouse in the folder in which your jar file is, create a text document and name it wherever you want. I'm going to call it start in this case and we leave the file type to .txt. Uh, the next thing is we open it and it's empty. What we're going to paste in is the line that is below the download link without the dot, so keep in mind no dot there. And we're going to paste it in, save it. And the no GUI part is by the way, 1.9 brings a GUI when you're triggering the server, which is like a console or terminal, but then made by Minecraft. I don't use it, I use the terminal itself. The part here means uh, the minimum amount of RAM that you're going to give to your server. Oh, correction, that's the maximum amount of RAM, RAM that you're going to add to your server because it says MX. In this case, we increased it to two gigabytes. You can leave it however you want. Of course, if you're using more plugins, you need more RAM. The minimum amount of RAM is in this case one gigabyte or 1024 megabytes. The last thing that we need to change is the actual version of the jar because you can see here is no version defined and we need to define the 1.9 version there. Otherwise, it will not be able to find the jar file that we're using at the moment. So we save it again, close it. Last thing that we need to do is change the .txt to a .bat and you would get a pop-up message if you really want to change the extension we say yes and if you did all everything correct the icon of the text file will change into the icon of a bat file and now you're also able to click on it and it will open a terminal so we click on it it will open a terminal it will load and close instantly why because in this case we need to accept the eula 
So let's do that straight away. So true. And save that. And now we click it again. And now it will generate the rest of the server files. And as you can see, it's preparing the spawn area. We will wait for that. And after this, your server is actually ready to be played on. See, it's done. And we go to our Minecraft. It is 1.9, keep that in mind. You need 1.9 to be able to do this. Refresh our server list. This is a local host, which I set up in my previous video. And you add the server address local host, which is your computer itself. So we join it. And then we should be able to join our own Minecraft 1.9 server. Keep in mind it's loading in the chunks. Hit F3 and at the top left corner we can see that it is Minecraft 1.9. So that is the vanilla tutorial for now. And let's jump straight into the speaker tutorial. So we will leave the server for now. We will stop this server. So stop. There we go. And the thing that we're going to do now is a speaker tutorial. I already downloaded 1.9. Uh, world. Oh, let me remove the old files for this and delete these files. Yes, that's the jar. I already downloaded it. In my previous tutorial, I explained how you can use build tools and the th command that we use to generate, in this case, the 1.9 uh, version of Minecraft. I will show you right now. It was Java jar build tools jar and then revision 1.9 so if you go to my previous video type in that command instead of the command without your revision it will not download the most recent file that build tool knows but in this case which Minecraft released which was 1.9 we already did it so we're not going to do that again the thing that we're going to use now is actually the bat file from our previous tutorial I will explain why we're going to use it and we'll open it for notepad. The thing that is added here is the pause function. In my previous term when you saw that it closed instantly when I did stop and when you do it now it will not close your screen. So with that it doesn't close automatically maybe because you want to show what the process was. Uh, this is not that necessary it came along with the configuration that I used before so you can leave it out or you cannot leave it out it's up to you and the thing that we need to change here is the version again to 1.9 so we change change that saved it increased the amount of RAM to 2 gigabytes to be sure that it has enough RAM here's the minimal 512 MB which is fine and we close it off hit start it will give us the same question again if we want to accept the EULA again but now you see it doesn't close except if I hit enter open a txt change this to true save it again hit start it will generate the rest of the files there we go auto world generation we will wait for that until that is finished, which will be probably now, if I'm correct. Come on. Ooh, it's the first world. Keep in mind, the first time it needs to generate, it takes some time. So give it uh, enough time to do it. I'm going to up myself, because then I can show you that I have the spigot commands. So we refresh our list again click on the server and now we will join a spigot 1.9 server and if I hit F3 it says 1.9 vanilla which is correct but if we do slash version it says spigot 1.9 it is some version behind because I recently didn't update my build tools which it only knows one of the first versions of 1.9 so that was my tutorial for the installation of 1.9 vanilla Minecraft server or a Spigot 1.9 server. So I hope this was useful for you. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And yeah, for more plugin videos, make sure to subscribe because there will be a lot more in the future. 
and I still hope that you enjoy and thanks for watch, uh, watching and I will see you next time.